Good morning and happy, I don't know, it's the weekend. What day is it? Sunday? Saturday? Sunday? Saturday? It's happy Saturday. I have no idea what day it is. We have so much going on this weekend. However, we don't have any theme park stuff going on this weekend because as some of you guys may remember from older vlogs, we are having our property fenced in with like a new super awesome fence that's not gonna like rot <laughs> in the Florida humidity because we have a wooden fence right now and it doesn't doesn't really stand up too great to the um, wetness that is Florida. So we're gonna get one of those like newfangled plastic fences, which I'm very excited about because they're supposed to last a little bit longer. It's like a better investment. Adulty type stuff, yay. Um, I'm excited. Uh, so let me show you what we've been working on all day. Got the vlog going up at a decent time. It's not 11 o'clock at night. Yay, sorry about that you guys, but today, going up at a decent time. Also got the little baby Bean hanging out. He, he hates it when I point the camera at him. I don't know why, but he does not like the camera. Beans, why don't you wanna be a little supermodel? Everybody wants to see your face. Everybody wants to see your face, baby boo. No, okay, all right. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> he really hates it. <laughs> Look at that little sweaty butt guy over there. It's just hacking away at some of these like vines that we have growing on top of our fence. Well, they're gone, but that's what he's doing over there. He got rid of all of them. Hey! <laughs> I know, you look so like beat. Pretty beat. Yeah, you've been out here for a minute in this uh, crazy humidity. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, about humidity. <laughs> I know, I it's wish- It's really dry out. You're like sopping wet. <laughs> oh no. You it work too like hard. It the pool, right? It really does, you but should. let me show you. Uh, nobody's going in that pool right now. Oh, dang. Yeah, I let it, <laughs> I went three days without chlorine and that's what happened. I know, it's just like, it's really um, kind of amazing how quickly it turns. Yeah. So. Dang. Yeah. So now we're trying to get these stumps out of this fence so that we have like a clear line for the new fence to go into. Stupid stumps in the fence. I know, I can't believe like how much they grew into the chain link fence. Yeah. Oh goodness. They're also coming to pick up our garbage pile here in the next couple of days, which is awesome. So we can have this space back. And then I'm thinking we'll put one of those um, sheds that you know that you can just buy like at Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever. We'll just put it here so that we can get this stuff into an actual, you know, building. So yeah, lots of lots of excitement happening. Tim the tool man. Arf, 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 arf. You tell that stump who's boss. So I was about to take the little boo outside and then Tim came in and I was like, why? Oh, because it started raining. Literally the last clip was maybe 45 seconds ago and now it's like, totes raining y'all. Welcome to Florida. So Tim is gonna go get some chlorine for the green pool. And while he is away doing that, I am going to cook up a little bit of lunchy type, dinnery type stuff. What time is it? 1.30. Lunch. Lunch time, all right. So I am making this yellow squash flatbread from HelloFresh and I uh, got my veggies all diced up. I got my oven preheating. I got my pine nuts going. And speaking of HelloFresh, I've actually been getting a lot of messages from you guys um, on different social medias about like, why don't you guys show, like do your HelloFresh vlogs or you know, home vlogs and stuff like that. The reason why we haven't been doing the HelloFresh vlogs is because I can't in good conscience recommend HelloFresh anymore. I, the only reason why I am making this right now is because we had a credit because of all of the like issues that we've had with HelloFresh recently. So I got this box with that credit and then I think I'm gonna be done with HelloFresh and I'm gonna cancel my subscription altogether because we keep getting things and they're bad. And I've already thrown them away, but like mixed greens were just like covered with brown juice because they were totally rotten. Uh, they forgot are, oh geez, hold on, one minute, I'm, I'm burning everything. Because we've been getting all of these items and they've been like rotten or missing, the whole point of HelloFresh is to not have to go to the store, which we, we're not huge fans of going to the store. So I think what I'm gonna do from now on is just go on their website and use their recipes because I really, really enjoy the flavors and the recipes and like the style of food that they send you. I think it's really great. I like having these vegetarian, because we do the vegetarian box, and I like having these options because they're really easy to make and you don't need them to send you the stuff um, if you're just gonna go to the store anyway. So that's why we haven't really been focusing on those kind of videos because we don't necessarily love HelloFresh anymore. 
but I still love to cook. So I think I'm still gonna cook. Sorry, I'm messing with my scallions that are cooking right now. Um, so I'll still cook stuff. I'm just probably not gonna use that specific box. That being said, do you guys have a box that you recommend more? I know in the past you guys have told us about other boxes. So please let me know because I would be willing to try one of those other boxes at this point. So yeah, back to the cooking. So I got my little squash flatbreads getting ready to go into the oven. One other thing that I will say about HelloFresh that I dislike is that for their vegetarian meals, the side is always a salad. It doesn't matter what you're eating. You will always just have a mixed green salad on the side. And that's just not very creative. Like, give me something more, HelloFresh. I don't know. The, the pizza part is always great. The entree part is always wonderful. But when every single vegetarian dish comes with a side of salad, I don't know, I'm not really a fan of that. However, I mean, I am gonna throw these in the oven. They're gonna go in for about 10 minutes and then I'm gonna make my little salad. All right, I pulled my little pizzas out of the oven, topped them with some basil and some pine nuts. And now for the weird part, they want me to drizzle honey on these. I guess it's gonna have like a hot honey topping. Um, I don't know, we'll see. It's gonna have some chili flakes too, so it'll be like a sweet heat. And here is the final product. What do you guys think? Let's look at the picture and see. Did we do it? Did we do it justice? I don't know. It looks like their salad came with some other fun stuff that maybe we didn't get. But yeah. Looks okay. Looks okay. Mmm. I'm gonna give that a thumbs up. That was really good. I do think it needs a little bit more um, spice. Like it needs more red pepper flakes and it needs a little bit more salt. But other than that, that's actually really good. And I can definitely say I will try to make this again because it was really easy to make. So I do like the recipes for HelloFresh. I don't like the delivery service for HelloFresh. So I don't know. Let me know if you guys have had any of the same issues with HelloFresh or maybe with another delivery service, another meal subscription service. Cause I would, like I said, I'd like to try another one, but I don't want to go to another one that's going to just put me in the same boat that I'm in right now where I'm getting things that are rotten or missing items. And I just have to go to the store again anyway. Let me know. I'll be excited to uh, see what you guys say. As you can tell, Bandit had a little bit of an outfit change here. He's got his thunder shirt on, which actually one of you guys mailed over to us and it has been beyond a lifesaver. So thank you, thank you, thank you but he's just kind of hanging out while it's a little bit rainy. Let's see what kind of progress Tim's made over here. Looks like a lot of, a lot of tree removing. A lot of stuff. Oh no, you already sweat through another shirt. What the heck? Oh no, you're doing a good job. Thanks. You're welcome. You. You is, what I'm doing. is that what you're doing? Yeah. Oh, working real hard. Yep. <laughs> no, for real he is, he's working really hard. All right, so he got one of the trees. I had to run out here and show you because it's so nuts how big it is. You're like the man tree at, at Halloween Horror Nights. Ooh. You're so scary. Look at that. Is that a walking tree? <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow. And this started out as like a weed, didn't it? Yeah, it's a golden rain tree. They're super annoying. What the heck? Yeah. Nice work. What? You Thanks. did a good job, yeah. What? Thanks. <laughs> this one's coming down. Um, no. Kind of thought it would already, but no. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> you did it now. Look at this little guy. You gotta stay hydrated. Whoa, hey. I'm guys just up here. I'm showing everybody your, your sweat. How sweaty Jeez. you are. <laughs> you are so silly. Stop. <laughs> so let's see. What did you do? I know it's kind of hard to tell, but those trees are gone. There, this is another tree past those trees. But yeah, it looks very like open. I'm loving it. Those are the trees over there. Check it out. Lots of trees. Mm -hmm. So since we had to wait the rain out, I made Tim some tater tots. Whoa. I didn't even see how much mustard that is. That's like a... Is that too much? Oh no, it was just the angle. Oh, gotcha. Okay. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 Some time later, <laughs> Tim changed into his little cute pajamas. You look so comfortable. Yeah, look how short my pajamas are on my legs. They really are kind of short, but you still look so cute. Yeah. And it's been a little bit of time, so it's actually dinner time. So I just heated up some leftover spaghetti. Yes. A pizza. <laughs> what does he say? He says, 
Pizza! <laughs> get your pizza here. Spaghetti! Get your spaghetti here. You like it a pepperoni? Yeah. <laughs> We're watching Beauty and the Beast. I forgot to tell you that. So, it was an okay movie. You have to like understand, I was born in the correct time period for Beauty and the Beast to be like a movie that I watched when I was growing up. So when the original Beauty and the Beast came out, I watched it in the theaters. You're basically like, um, I'm a 90s kid. Right? <laughs> That's like basically what you're doing right now. So I didn't, I liked the movie, it was a decent movie. It wasn't the best movie I've ever seen, Beauty and the Beast. Do you know what it is? Is what? that like... We're 90s kids? <laughs> We're 90s kids. No, like, um, I mean, yes, we are, but like, I think because they were not animated, uh, the, the things in the house. Right. Because they weren't animated, I like didn't care about them. Oh, okay. Like they didn't have the face, they didn't have like eyebrows, and they weren't like, like they were expressive, but like not. It, it does wasn't, that make sense? It wasn't original Cogsworth and Lumiere. What do you mean? Like they were expressive. Yeah. Like the 1991 Cogsworth and Lumiere. Because they were animated, and right. these are these were made to look more realistic, so I didn't feel for them. Right. But I also, um, when the beast transformed into his regular human form. Into Dan. <laughs> was his name Dan? His name Dan, yeah. I thought his name was Adam. Well, I'm talking about the actor. Oh, good. We're the guy. The guy from... Unconfirmed, by the way. Disney does not uh, condone calling him Prince Adam. What, do they get mad if you do? No, but he oh. doesn't have a name. Oh, okay. That was, that was a fluke in a video game one time. They the, they asked the question, what's the Beast's real name? Right. And just made up an answer. And, and ever since then, the oh. Disney fan community has taken that as... They're like, that's his name? Yeah, but well, Disney didn't make the video game. Somebody else did. My thing with Human Beast guy is that I think I liked him better as the Beast. And I heard a lot of people saying that. And I'm like, really? You wonder, like, why? How? But, like, I felt the same way. But I that's how I felt about the cartoon Beast, too. You liked the Beast better? Yeah, I hated the cartoon Prince. I guess he was I... too much. You know how when Squidward becomes like handsome Squidward, <laughs> that's what the Beast looked like in 1991 when he turned into a human. He had like a very like. You're yeah, right. You're right. Handsome Squidward. Oh my god. He was. Oh my gosh. <laughs> right. My mind is blown. <laughs> After all of that, I went outside and there were bugs everywhere because we have lights outside our back door because I was walking bandit, and I was like, you know what I did? I bought some bug lights in the color Amarillo. Amarillo, right? How do you say it? Yellow. Well, how do you say it in Spanish? Amarillo? Amarillo. Amarillo. Or Amarilla for those guys from Texas. Uh, bug lights. And they're supposed to, it says, keeps bugs away. And I was like, yeah, right. Uh, I went out there, took the old bulb out, bugs flying all over the place, put this one in, they just stopped. The bugs just landed and just started like walking nonchalantly away. And then the bugs were just gone. So, highly recommend these bug lights. Plus, this is a, an LED, it's eight watts. So, heck yeah, saving some energy. But working on the backyard has really worn me out. So, it's time for bed, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Now it's time to pay the price.